Hello everyone, my name is Livio Bosbicciu and I will be the instructor of this course. I am a computer science student and I am very passionate about programming and problem solving. In this course, you'll learn how to develop a desktop application using Java Swing, which is Java's built-in UI toolkit. We are going to be using MySQL to store our data, which is a very popular database management system. Now, I'm going to present you what kind of app we are going to develop. So I'll run the program, and the app starts with a login frame, letting the user to switch over to sign up if he wants to and if he doesn't have an account. You can also see some icons for user and password, and one more icon for our top level frame. Let's go to sign up now, and in the sign up frame, you need to enter some information like first name, last name, email, and password. I will pass my information here. The email will be something random mail at gmail.com. The password will be pass and pass. If I type one more letter to this password and press sign up, the password should match. Okay. Now, if I leave any of these fields empty and press sign up, please enter all fields, it's showing, and a red star is appearing right next to our text field. Now I will enter the correct information, so pass and pass, and press sign up, and you signed up successfully. Okay, now I'm redirected to our login frame. I will log in with our email and password, press enter or click the login button, and now you can see a mainframe saying hello, Livio Bosbicio, which is my name, and two options which are track progress and add food. Let's press add food. And there's a couple of things you may notice now. There is a table, which is our food table from our database, containing some names, calories, protein, fats, carbs, and the category for meat, drinks, cheese, and so on. And the category list which you can click and choose any of these categories you want, like drinks, and you will see all the drinks we have in our database, or cheese, meat, anything else. You also have a search option, so let's go to all and search like chicken, press enter, or press the search button. And you can see only the chicken pressed item is shown. Now you can press the add option, or add button and you will see a frame with the food's name underlined its calories protein fats carbs the meal time you want to add it so let's say we want it for breakfast lunch dinner or snacks let's choose lunch and the desired quantity if we choose zero grams of this product and press add please enter a quantity okay now let's say we want 10 grams of chicken breast let's press add and you have add, added the item successfully to your menu. Okay, now let's go back to our mainframe and let's choose track progress. If you choose track progress, you will see some tables that display your food choices. You can add a food for breakfast or any of these meal times by pressing the add button and you will be redirected to another frame which at the beginning contain all of our foods. Let's search for cheese, for example, or if you press one letter or two letters, you can find coffee and cheese. Press add, and you can quick add some items, like 40 grams of coffee. You have added the item successfully to your menu. Okay, now if we go back, we have 40 grams of coffee into our breakfast table, and the total row is updated with 40 grams of quantity, some calories, protein, fats, and carbs. Let's add one more item. So let's say we want eggs for breakfast. Quantity is 50, add, okay. And when we go back, the total row is updated and you can see the food item into our breakfast table. One more thing you can do is to click the edit button 
and you will see you can remove the item or save a new value which is a new quantity for this food item so let's say we want 40 grams of eggs instead of 50 we press save the food item was updated successfully press ok and the table is refreshed and updated so is the total row now let's go back to let's say lunch table and press edit remove the item the food item was deleted okay and the table is updated i hope you find all of this interesting and now you are ready to learn